Fantasy Philosophers is brought to you by Fantasy-Info.com. For all the success that Adrian Peterson had last season, people couldn't seem to get past the fact that he wasn't racking up a ton of rushing yardage and he was having problems with his fumbles. However, he did go out and have 43 receptions for over 400 yards in the passing game, and he also totaled 18 touchdowns, which was a big improvement over his 10 touchdowns from the season before. For all the positives that Adrian had this last season, you could say that maybe his season was actually a disappointment as he wasn't the top fantasy player as that went to Chris Johnson. This upcoming season, we don't have Peterson as the number one fantasy option, obviously, as that would go to Chris Johnson. And we don't really have him at this point in time as the number two option, as we believe Maurice Jones-Drew is a little bit better option. And the reason why is because, one, we're not sure if Brett Favre's going to come back. Two, Toby Gearhart might steal some carries from him at the goal line. He's better suited you know, physically, plus he would be fresh at that area. That is a possibility. And then three... His division, as far as you know, defensive front lines in the Bears and especially the Lions, have gotten better over this offseason. And he already has the 12th hardest schedule against the run. That's not that hard, but when you factor in that in division, he's going to play four games, two against the Lions, two against the Bears. You know, I, I think Julius Peppers, yeah, he's not a big run stuffer, but he's the type of guy that can bring a lot of energy to a defense. He can revitalize guys like Tommy Harris. You know, Brian Orlacher, all of a sudden he comes back and healthy. And that defense, you know, the Bears can be like that. All of a sudden, they can go on a hot streak on defense and they're putting it together. But I do expect the, de- the, the division to be a little bit harder. And I think that that makes it even more key that Brett Favre comes back this season for Adrian to take pressure off of him in the passing game. Still, Peterson is a stud. We have him definitely as the number three fantasy back for you to take this season. I do expect him to have, you know, 40-plus receptions again this year. He was able to get 40-plus last year, and Chester Taylor was on the team. This year, Chester's gone. So expect Peterson to still have good numbers in that category. He should still have good touchdown totals. Uh, But again, we do need to see Favre come back. And his division is getting stronger against the run. So these are things to keep in mind with Peterson when you're choosing between him and maybe Maurice Jones-Drew this upcoming season. For more fantasy football information, go to fantasy-info.com and sign up for our free e-newsletter. Good luck in your 2010 fantasy football league. As an added bonus, the Fantasy Info guys will include their five secret tips for success in fantasy.